Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to show you how to do the perimeter and area of rectangles and parallelograms. So perimeter means to sum up all of the sides. So whether I've got a rectangle or a parallelogram, I'm doing it the same exact way. So if I know that this length is 5 and this length is 2, um, well then by definition of a rectangle, this length is also 5 and this width is also 2. So all I would do to find the perimeter is add 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 5 is 12, and plus 2 is 14. So my perimeter here would be 14 units, whatever these units were. And we're going to do the same thing for a parallelogram because, again, opposite sides are equal. So if this was 7 and this was 3, then this is also 7 and this is also 3. So we're going to go ahead and add up all the sides. So we have 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 7 is 17, plus 3 is 20. So my perimeter here would be 20 units, whatever they're measured in. And then to find the area, when we're doing the area of a rectangle, we want to just multiply the height times the width. So my formula here is area equals width times length. So I'm just going to substitute these values. Area equals 5 times 2. So my area here is 10. But what I want to remember is that when I'm dealing with area, it's always square units. So if these were inches, I'm going to go ahead and write inches, but it's going to be squared. So that is how you find the area and the perimeter of parallelograms and rectangles. Thank <laughs> you.